So I've drawn a line here to indicate the difference between the front of the chair and the back of the chair. If you're working with a chair that's already upholstered, this line would be a seam line on the upholstery. So since this doesn't have that seam line, I've drawn one for myself as a reference point. So that's where I start measuring from for the outside back. So my actual measurement on this chair is going to go from the line down to the edge of the Velcro, which is the inside of the frame of the chair. So I pinch that there and I read 25. So that's my measurement for the length for the inside back. The width, I want to catch the widest point. I've got 18 and a half here for width on the chair. And I've gone from the top to the bottom to make sure I've got the widest point. Um, now I'm going to skip to the bottom of the chart. The last um, measurement is for the Velcro tail. And um, you're going to love doing a Velcro tail on your chair. I'm just putting my measuring tape up through that opening between the seat and the back. And I've got it to a point where I just see the tape coming out the front. And it looks like seven and a half down to the bottom here. So that's my length on the Velcro tail. And my width is the distance where there's Velcro here. And I've got 14 and a half on that. So now we'll turn the chair around to the front, measure the front and the side of the chair. So for measuring the front of the chair, again, I'm going to my line that I drew on the back as my starting point, and just down the front um, to where the inside back meets the seat. I'm going to give myself 24 and a quarter there. And I'm going to measure, make sure that that's still enough on the side in case my sides bulge out a little more. So 24 and a quarter is what I've got for length. And width, again, I want to make sure I'm getting the widest point looks like 18 and a half in the front too. And that's nice when they're same, same in the front and the back. Um, it does make it a little bit easier. So I've got 18 and a half will be good here. Then for the seat, uh, I'm measuring from where the seat meets the inside back. And I'm going all the way down and underneath again, like I did in the back. And so I'm pinching it there at the edge of the frame. And I've got 24 and a quarter on that. For the width, I want to go to the widest part of the seat. And I want to, um, you know, when you sit on a seat, you're pulling the fabric in. So I want to give myself a little bit extra when it comes to seat width measurement, because you're going to custom fit this later. And so it's always better to cut bigger fabric than you need rather than smaller. So at the widest point, it really looks like um, 22 on that 22 inches gives me, you can see I've got a little bit of room on the sides here.